What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw someone with a skin condition. Now what you see here is I already have a face drawn already and I already got the hair colored and everything so that way by the end of this video you get to see everything with all its colors. But the way to explain someone with a skin condition is with someone has like a different colored skin tone but they're going to have that kind of condition where they have like a few spots on their bodies with different skin colors. But I'll put a picture up here on the screen so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So that's what I'm going to show you how to color with Copic markers today. So a while ago I put out a video called how to color skin with Copic markers. But if you haven't seen that video, we're going to use the exact same colors for it. So the colors I'll be using are E21, E11, E13, E23, E37, and E29. So first we're going to start off coloring a light skin tone. So we're going to let it dry and then we're going to apply the dark skin tone. So let's get started. So first I'm going to apply my base color which is E21. Okay, so we got our base color of E21 going, and I forgot to mention in the beginning that we'll be applying shading to this entire drawing. But as we apply the different skin colors, we'll be doing it as we go. So right now I'm applying the light skin tone, and now I'm going to apply my mid-tone of the light skin tone, which is my E11. So I'm going to kind of go over it in a second coat, so that way it can get a little bit darker compared to the base color that we just put down. See, like I'm going over it maybe a couple times like this, getting it a little bit darker than how it usually is, but hopefully it's something. And I'm going to use my E21 to blend that E11 back into the base color. Okay, so now we're at the point where we can add our darkest color, which is E13, but instead of actually applying it towards the left or to the right or wherever the shades are going to be, I'm actually going to apply this E13 down here. But if you do plan on adding it like an actual base for the face, you can apply the most minimal amount that you can. Because E13 is pretty dark and it's going to kind of clash with the colors that we'll put down later on in the video. So that's why I'm applying it just here and just here only. And then I'm just going to go back and fix a few things. Okay, so we're going to stop here and we're going to let this ink dry and come back and add a dark skin tone. A few minutes later. Okay, so now that the ink is dry, we're going to take the colors that we used for the light skin tone and we're going to set them aside for now because we won't need them anymore. So now we're going to focus on the dark skin tones that we need, which is E23, E37, and E29. So what we're going to do with the E23 is that we're going to lay down the base color for the dark skin part of the face. But we're also going to provide some different skin blots or skin spots somewhere on the face. And this part you can really freelance. It doesn't matter exactly where the spots are as long as there are some. So let me show you. I got, I'm going to use my brush tip for this one. So I'm going to draw this in. So there's going to be a spot there too, kind of like around the eye. And then maybe one near the lips and the neck as well. So the spots you draw, you can add them wherever and how big. It doesn't really matter as long as there are spots throughout the face. So now that they're drawn with your marker and not your ink pen, you can go ahead and color everything outside of those spots. I'm 
Okay, so now the airy part of the face that I want there to be dark skin on, that's colored. So at this point, there's no turning back. Whatever you have drawn here will tie into your final result. Okay, so now we can do our regular shading, which I'm going to use my E37 as a mid-tone and get some blending in place. So I'm going to use this as a mid-tone. And you don't want to go onto the spots though, so you see how I stopped here? I'm not going to go onto the spots because that's the white part that we shaded earlier. Not much shading, but it's still there, so we don't want to overlap that. And then I'm going to use my E23 to blend it all back together. Alright, now that that's established, we can go in with our E29 and add our darkest shades. And then I'm going to go back with my E37 and blend everything back together. So I'm pretty much working backwards at this point when it comes to the blending. But as you may notice, I'm adding the E37 along the borders of these white spots. And that's okay because I want them to kind of stand out against the, against the base color that we added before. Because, I don't, because come to think of it, it kind of clashes, so that's, why I'm, so that's why I want to add some sort of a border to it to help it stand out. Okay, so now comes the final blend with my E23. Okay, so now that everything's colored, I'm just gonna go in with one of my pens here. I'm just gonna color in the eyebrows. And at this point, you can add whatever other details that you want. So I'm gonna do that in time lapse and then come back to you guys to end the video. Alright, and that's how you color someone with a skin condition. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.